going on, people? What company, if you're going to lease on, what company should you lease on to? Some of the companies, um, Landstar, Mercer, uh, Roadrunner, Universal, um, and the list goes on. I'm just you know naming ones off the top of my head. Which one should you lease on to? At the end of the day, they're all the same. You have to figure out which one is going to work best for you. And no matter what company that you choose to lease on to, you have to figure out their system. And you'll have to figure out if their system is going to work with how you want to run. Because the company I'm with, I figured out their system. And in my eyes, I do pretty good. <clears throat> I'm out five days a week. I leave out on Monday and I'm pulling back home, pulling back into the yard on Friday. And I run 24, probably up to 2,400 miles a week. So, and that works out good for me. And sometimes I'm, I'm able to be home during the week. Maybe, you know, maybe one night. Not all, not often, but occasionally I'm home to be, uh, able to be home during the week um this guy he just gonna he just walk on out walk out in the middle of the road anyway so i figured out their system and i don't need to and people always question when i tell them what i do i basically go i run the same lane all the time that's it i, I don't go all over the place because I know what it costs to, I think I mentioned this in another in another video, I know how much it costs to run the loads that I do. So I know what they pay, I know how much they how much it costs to run those loads. So at the end of the week, you know, I know what I'm bringing home. Um, so I run the same thing all, uh, every week and occasionally I'll branch out, but you know, now, just because something might pay more money, there might be other costs involved with that. And at the end of the day, you might make out less than what you normally do. Sometimes you maybe you might make out more. Um, but I got my set routine down of, of what I do. So going back to whatever your company that you lease to, you have to learn their system. I was considering making a change going over to one of the Roadrunner companies. And, you know, yeah, it would have been on paper, it would have been more money, but the expenses would have been the same, but I would be taking on more responsibility. So I was like, yeah, and then come to find out that the way they have their system set up it wouldn't work for what I wanted to do. Even though they tell you, you know, you can be your own boss and blah, 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 and run where you want and all that kind of stuff. So I just stayed put where I was at. Um, so again, I'll, I'll just reiterate, whatever company you go to, you're gonna have to talk to people within that company, find something that that person, find something that that person is doing that is similar to what you wanna do or vice versa, and see if that will work for you. Because just because, you know, the company says, you know, you can make X amount, gross X amount per year, um, that doesn't mean that, you know, that will be a good fit for you, you know, whatever they have planned. And with that being said, all these companies, well, I shouldn't say all of them, but most of these companies, they're counting your money. They're only gonna give you just enough to keep you satisfied. You ain't gonna be breaking the bank. They're only gonna give you just enough to, to keep you satisfied. Um, and they have a, even though they'll say they'll pay percentage, uh, you know, percentage, whatever that percentage is, 10%, uh, 
or they'll take 10%, you know, 10% off the top, 10%, uh, 20%, uh, so on and so forth. They have a certain number in mind that they want you to make. And that number is just to keep you happy. Um, and even at that, even though some of these, some of these companies, they will tell you that you get a certain percentage. Let's say you get uh, 80% of the load. We'll just use 80%. 80% of what? 80% of 100 or 80% of 95%? I know, I know, I know you guys think that I'm talking negative about this stuff, but I'm telling you what goes on behind the scenes. You know, I, I said it before, man, these people are sharks. So I'm just trying to inform some of you, you know, what goes on behind the scenes. Um, so like I said, 80% of what? I know, uh, I think it's Landstar. They take 2% right off the bat. You know, let's say the load is, the load pays a thousand. They'll take 80% right off, uh, 2 percent right off the bat, and then they'll, you know, give you the cut. Um, the company I work for, I caught them doing the same thing. The load paid, I don't remember exactly how much it paid, but let's say it paid a thousand dollars, right? That's what it would have paid me. And then I said, no, I need, I need more. You know, I got tolls and whatever else. And then the guy. <laughs> The guy, he gonna flip to a different screen on the computer. Now I'm acting, I'm in the office. I'm acting like I don't know what's going on. I'm looking at the wall, looking at the clock and stuff like that, but I'm really looking to see what he's doing. And he flips over to a different screen and there's more money on that load than what he said there was. So now I'm not, when I bring this up, I'm not counting their money. I'm just saying that if I'm if I'm contracted to you and you agree me to agree to me to pay a certain percentage of the load and I should get that percentage you know if that if that's what we agreed on so if I agree on I get 80% of the load it should be 80% from 100 not from 98 95, 97, 96. You see what I'm saying? So, this is just something to be mindful of. Whatever company you go to, this is how they play their games. And I got there's something else that they do too. And I'll put in another video. Um, but uh, that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one.